e cucumo no ba mulira. Ka chikun ida haldonga. Ik jedo ba do wana ni di bobo. Tong mucho shak pa khat. Ka chikun ida haldonga. Ik ingu no ba mulira. Ajuta. Jedo ba do wana ni di bobo. Mucho shak pa khat. Greetings, young Padawan. I trust your training goes well. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I have heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The forest is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. No, I suppose you did not. I apologize. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. The Council has decreed you must not leave the Omni. Please. Please don't disturb me. Kukumo no ba mulira chiku. Runda di hotonga. Ah, hok. Mucho.
Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the Council, not some servant. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the Council of your rude behavior. So you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vruk, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila I am sure you are already familiar with. You have learned much. Yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. Do not worry. I am confident in your ability to learn. We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? You got it.
Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between Master and Student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Good. It is well that you see how important this is, and have the devotion to follow it. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue. Some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted, and perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Hmm. Yes. Your devotion is most commendable. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, 
you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers, a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. The Cathounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. I can say no more, but remember this, my young apprentice. The dark side still... I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Ah, yes. Thank you, Master Jedi. Stay here, Rilke. I'll be back in an hour or so. Yes, dear. Good luck. I hope the Jedi Council will listen to Gar. Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. No! They've been raiding planets across this sector and farms around here often. You Jedi have left them alone because they haven't harmed you. But they steal our property, destroy our land. I say we look for these Mandalorians. I fought them in the war. They're nothing but vicious pirates. We should we should stop them if we can. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better. And you call yourself her father. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. She was always impulsive. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. I will give you all I have. Just please, annihilate them from the face of this planet.
Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion, you see? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Maybe the Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have been someone who could open the door by himself. When you think of it, the door was locked. Well, yes, it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming... Well, yes, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find...
you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. A better Jedi than you will ever be. More powerful as well, for I could best my teacher. When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. What is it you want? Why do you bother me? The Council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? Act or be gone. What is you overestimate yourself, whelp?
What?
You asked for this! I am C842, a personal assistant droid. Who knows? They are beasts and have been very aggressive of late. I am sorry if I seem a bit abrupt, but I must be moving along. I am rather in a hurry. From my master, Elise. Wait, did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. No, I ran away of my own free will. But I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She, she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. You don't want to know. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people, living people, please. Will you destroy me? What? No! You make her suffer like that? You monster!
battles were you in? I try not to think about my past battles too much. The horrors of war are something I'd rather not relive. The horrors of war? My people know only the glory of battle. I'm disappointed in you, Karth. I thought a warrior like you would understand. I'm not a warrior. I'm a soldier. There's a difference. Warriors attack and conquer. They, they prey on the weak. Soldiers defend and protect the innocent. Mostly from warriors. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. But I accept who and what I am. I don't have to justify it with words. Victory in battle is my justification. Justification through victory? So what happens when you lose? You know, like you did against us. You had us outnumbered five to one. You had more ships, more troops, more supplies, and the Jedi on your side. And we still made the Republic tremble before we fell. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. Look, I don't want to talk about this anymore, Candorous. The war is over. You lost. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What?
Yes?
Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. That hurt. Huh? Yeah. children instead. Anything! <laughs> uh, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. You like that?
ass. Now I will. Juhani was a, a dear companion to me for many years. We spent many nights together alone under the stars. That will never happen again, thanks to you. Curse the Council for sending you, of all people, to speak to her. Could you have done nothing else? Why? Because the Council believed that my closeness to her might do more harm than good. And yet they send you instead. And look what has happened. The Juhani I knew deserved more than this. She deserved more from the Council and more from you. You! You did not even try, did you? Did it even occur to you that Juhani might have been saved? That she might be worth saving? I should kill you for what you've done. And yet, I can't, can I? I'm a Jedi and we are sworn to protect all, even the likes of you. Get, get out of my sight. The very thought of the Council and of you makes me ill. Have you found the Mandalorian Raiders yet? Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. What? I did not think the Jedi were so greedy. 
You seem almost Mandalorian. I thank you for what you have done for me, but I have nothing else to give. The Council will hear of your deeds and your greed. That was totally uncalled for. My droid is still missing. He's out there still? I must find him. Why did you do that? Sometimes I, sometimes I just can't understand how you can be so cruel. Cool. have cleansed the grove of its dark taint, but at great cost. Johanni was a most promising student and could one day have been strong in the Force. Do not dismiss what happened to her, however. Johanni was both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the lure of the dark side. Keep this in mind always in the future, and do not forsake the path of the light. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order. Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. If you have questions, you should direct. Greetings, young Padawan. Have you come seeking knowledge? As a chronicler of the Academy here on the Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith, there are important... As you... It is most regrettable that Juhani could not be saved. We in the Council had high hopes for her in the future. In every heart, there is some means of redemption. Could you find none in Juhani? Perhaps that was the case. It is most regrettable indeed. Heed her example. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, when we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. We do not know. That is one of the things you must investigate. We fear the worst. Is there anything else? Bastila will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the Masters and the Count, Bastila was there when Revan was slain. 
Did you know that? Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine! They must be punished! The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals, if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing! How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Alan Matali we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to... Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. It is in the real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Not to mention that I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a bit. I mean, come on, how bad could it be? Yes? Boop. Boop. 